Humanity deserves a better, better future and there are things that we can do to solve some of the issues and some of the problems that humanity faces right now. And yeah, I want a better, better future for humanity, I feel like bringing medicines to the market, bring medicines to poor people or like to people who suffer from diseases because nobody could find a, a cure to it is, is something that I would love to work on. So right now drug discovery in general takes about 15 years to put one drug in the market and it costs 2.6 billion dollar and our goal is to cut this kind of budget by half and also shorten the, the process a little bit. But basically when I, when I put better, better drugs in the market faster on a cheaper price, yeah. I'm originally Syrian. I did a bachelor in computer science engineering back in Syria. I moved to Leuven in Belgium, continued to do a postdoc, then I started my professorship in Denmark and decided I want to I want to have bigger impact. I want to do more. So I decided to quit academia and start my own startup. It's GTN and this stands for Generative Tensorial Networks, which is basically a new type of neural network that combines idea from generative deep networks in, in deep neural networks and tensorial methods in quantum physics. And the main kind of goal for these, for these methods or these models is to represent chemical compounds and making machine learning tools that is compatible with these high dimensional representation. But the main goal is basically to bring drugs to the market on a, on a smaller budget and on like more efficient way. So picking the right market is like a tricky part, mainly because in academia we don't really care much about what problems we feel like, feel like we just feel like cool things need to be solved and that's it. So that one thing. And the other thing is like going out and talking to people, talking to customers, trying to understand kind of the dimensionality of the problem and how they usually solve it and how our solution can fit within what they need. In research you just like do whatever you want and you publish papers and and that's kind of like the main differentiation between academia and the market. There you have to care about the user first. Prosper means like having impact, like using every day of your life to do something and not really like just be there because you're born and that's it. It's like having a goal and working towards it.